Good evening. My understanding is that the justification for this project is it's going to create much needed jobs for this area. Is that, is that true? That's, that's not what the department is looking at. The department evaluates the project based on whether it meets the, the environmental statutes. Well, for the, for the people of this area, one of the reasons, one of the major reasons that the people of this area would support a mine is, is that it would create much needed jobs for this area, right? And, and this area is economically depressed for, for many reasons, many historic reasons and other reasons. Is that true? And those really aren't questions that we're prepared to answer. My, my concern is that, is that the mining company seems to be taking a lot of shortcuts. And one of the shortcuts is with the backfilling of the mine, um, with, with not backfilling the tailings. And I see this as not only a problem for the environment, creating long-term environmental problems for this community, but also really limiting the amount of jobs that will be available for the people here. This, this is a question and answer period, ma'am. Do you have a question? And, well, my question is, have you, have you considered the fact that not providing, not, not requiring backfilling of the mine, not only is it going to limit the amount, of, the amount of jobs that are available for this community, and it's also going to create really serious environmental problems. You're, you're talking about almost 60 acres of wetlands that would be be filled with tailings. Well, you're pointing at me, Steve. I'm not sure I heard a question yet. Um. <laughs> I, I, I think so the I, question, I don't, I, I don't, the question I'm was that I considered. So I'm, 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 really, I'm really confused if, if, the, if the justification for this mine is to create jobs for the people, um, and the mine is creating so many shortcuts um, that, that not only, that not only um, takes away from the, the environmental sustainability of this area, but it also reduces the amount of jobs that will be available for people. That um, I, I mean, I, I'm really confused why the why the Michigan Department of Environmental Quality doesn't take a more holistic holistic analysis of this because it's I mean, you're talking about an entire ecosystem that's going to be affected, an entire economy that's going to affect it. These people and their jobs, their economic future. I, I, again, we, we need a question, and since I don't think I, we I, have I, one. I'm asking why you, a more holistic approach isn't taken to, to review this project. Well, I, I would disagree. We take a very holistic approach in accordance with the statute. And, and, have, and so with that approach, have you considered how not backfilling these, the tailings will affect the community in, in their jobs and economically. We, under, under, that, under our statute for mining, we don't look at the economic impacts, the environmental impact. And yes, environmentally, we have looked at that. And we looked at it very seriously. Uh, I, I, I mean, I wonder who is looking at the, how, how, this, how these decisions will affect, will affect this area economically. And as far as the, as far as the overall jobs picture, if the idea is to bring more jobs to this area. I'm not really sure. I can't answer a question how... The, the company has presented a number of alternatives for the disposal of the tailings, one of which is uh, above ground. They've explored the, the alternative of putting tailings back underground. It's our job to review all of the alternatives they present and decide if we agree that the alternative that they feel is most feasible and prudent is in fact most feasible and prudent. It doesn't come down to will this alternative create or more jobs or not. That would not necessarily result in a decision based only on that. But environmental impact, uh, you know, in uh, association with with everything else that was you know that was presented, the entire application is on our website. All of the alternatives, all 1,600 pages, figures, tables, if you wish to review it, and those alternatives, um, we can provide a CD of the entire application so you can see that. Each area of those was explored and why that was ruled out. But well, it's, it's, I mean, everything is on your website. Um, but you know, my question is, who is looking out for this this community? If if you're not looking out for the jobs that are, that are supposed to be created from this community, from this project, who is looking out for this community to make sure that the, the overall the overall picture makes sense? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
I think that if you want to discuss this further uh, during the public hearing, Jim will be available in the uh, hallway and he can tell you about how the wetland statute does include consideration of economics and many other factors. Thank you.